Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this session, we are going to solve the NCRT exemplary problems of chapter Biomolecule. So let's start. It is said that elemental composition of living organisms and that of inanimate objects like earth's crust are similar in the sense that all the major elements are present in both. Then what would be the difference between these two groups? Choose the correct answer from the following. A living organisms have more gold in them than inanimate objects. B. Living organisms have more water in their body than inanimate objects. C. Living organisms have more carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen per unit mass than inanimate objects. Or D. Living organisms have more calcium in them than inanimate objects. The correct choice is option C. Living organisms have more carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen per unit mass than inanimate objects. Many elements are found in living organisms either free or in the form of compounds. One of the following is not found in living organisms. Silicon, magnesium, iron or sodium. The correct choice is option A, silicon. Amino acids have both an amino group and a carboxyl group in their structure. Which amongst the following is an amino acid? Formic acid, glycerol, glycolic acid or glycine? The correct choice is option D, glycine. An amino acid under certain conditions have both positive and negative charges simultaneously in the same molecule. Such a form of amino acid is called acidic form, basic form, aromatic form, or zuteronic form. The correct choice is option D, zuteronic form. Which of the following sugars have the same number of carbon as present in glucose? Fructose, erythrose, ribulose, or ribose. The correct choice is option A, fructose. An acid soluble compound formed by phosphorylation of nucleoside is called nitrogen based adenine, sugar phosphate, or nucleotide. The correct choice is option D, nucleotide. When we homogenize any tissue in an acid, the acid soluble pool represents cytoplasm, cell membrane, nucleus, or mitochondria. The correct choice is Cytoplasm. The most abundant chemical in living organisms could be protein, water, sugar, or nucleic acid. The correct choice is option B, water. A homopolymer has only one type of building block called monomer, repeated n number of times. A heteropolymer has more than one type of monomer. Proteins are heteropolymers usually made up of 20 types of monomers, 40 types of monomers, 30 types of monomers, only one type of monomer. So the correct choice is option A, 20 types of monomers. Proteins perform many physiological functions. For example, some proteins functions as enzyme. One of the following represents an additional function that some proteins perform. Antibiotics, pigment conferring color to skin, pigment making colors of flowers or hormones. The correct choice is option D, hormones. Glycogen is a homopolymer made up of glucose units, galactose units, ribose units or amino acids. The correct choice is option A, glucose units. The number of ends in a glycogen molecule would be equal to the number of branches plus 1, equal to the number of branch points 1 or what 2, one on left side and another on the right side. So the correct choice is option A, equal to the number of branches plus 1. The primary structure of a protein molecule has two ends, one end, three ends or no end. The correct choice is it has two ends. Which of the following reactions is not enzyme mediated in biological system? Dissolving CO2 in water, unwinding the two strands of DNA, hydrolysis of sucrose, formation of peptide bond. The correct choice is option A, dissolving CO2 in water.